Hello, everybody, and welcome to the channel. We got some 1961 APA pre bats, and we got the St. Louis Cardinals traveling to New York to take on the Giants in the Polar Ground. This is game three of a three game series in New York, and the Cardinals won game two to tie this series up. And let's see who wins the rubber match here. And the Cardinals will be having red. Shane this leading all playing second. Batting second playing first is Johnny Mize. Batting third playing shortstop Roger Hornsby. Batting fourth playing left field Stan Musial. Batting fifth playing third base is Whitey Kirksky. Batting sixth in center field is Joe Medwick. Batting seventh playing right field is Ena Slaughter. Batting eighth doing the catching is Jimmy Wilson. And on the mound, Doing the pitching is Harry Bridgman. And for the New York Giants. And no, we don't have the right second baseman in there. Frankie Frisch is going to be playing second. And leading off. So Frankie Frisch will be leading off playing second. Batting second and playing third is Freddie Lindstrom, batting third, playing first base is Bill Terry. Batting fourth, playing center field is Willie Mays. Batting fifth, playing left field, Mel Ott. Batting sixth, playing right field, Mike Delenn. Batting seventh, doing the catch and riser, Bresnahan. Batting eighth, playing shortstop is Travis Jackson. And on the mound, batting ninth, Joe McGinnity. Let's get down here to the polo grounds and get this game started, folks. And the lead off the first inning for the Cardinals is Red. He's batting 375, and he'll be facing Joe McGinnity, his first appearance. And this is his 1904 season. And he pitched in 51 games, started 44, was 35 and 8 with a 1.61 ERA. Here's the pitch to Red. And that's going to be a. Against a 21, that's going to be a ground ball down the third. And Lindstrom's up with it, fires across over the Terry for out number one. And it brings up the big cat, Johnny Mize. And Mize is 0 for 7 on the year. Here's the pitch to Johnny. And that's going to be a fly ball out the Dylan and right field for out number two. Two up and two down for the Cardinals. It's up to Roger Hornsby to get something started here. And Hornsby's batting a buck 25 with no homers and an RBI. And that's going to be a fly ball out to Willie Mays in center field. The Cardinals go down one, two, three. Hey, Tim D, we go to the bottom of the first. Cardinals nothing. Frisch, Lindstrom, and Terry do up. And Frankie Frisch is batting a buck 25 with no homers and no RBIs on the year. And Harry Benson. And this is Harry's, let's check here, 1948 season. He pitched in 33 games, started 30. He was 20 and 7 with a 2.24 ERA. Here's the pitch to Frisch. And that's going to be a swing and a miss strike one. First strike out of the ball game here. And Freddie Lindstrom comes up now. And Freddie's batting a buck 25 also, but he's got a homer and two RBIs. Here's the pitch to Lindstrom. And that's going to be a ground ball down the red at second. Over the Johnny at first for out number two. That brings up Bill Terry. And Terry's batting. 167. He's got a homer and one RBI. And that's going to be a ground ball down the short. And that'll be out number three. And then Giants go down in order. We go to the top of the second. Still no score. 
And we got Musial, Kozlowski, and Medrick do up here. Stands batting 286. No homers in an RBI on the year. And that's going to be a fly ball out the right field for out number one. And here comes Whitey up now. And Philip Reynolds joins us here. And this is Whitey's first appearance of the season. This is his 1947 season. He batted 310 with 27 homers and 104 RBIs. And the Cardinals most likely will believe tuning him and Ken Boyer. Whitey will be facing most of the um, right-handed batters. And Ken Boyer will be facing the lefty pitchers. And he squares this one up, folks. And that ball is high. That ball is far. That ball is gone out the left field. And just like that, Whitey's one for one with the homer. And puts the Cardinals on the board. One nothing. Oh, cool. Thank you, Phil. And that brings up Joe Medrick. He's 0 for 6 on the season. No homers and no RBIs. And that's going to be a grounder back to the mound. Joe's up with it. He fires over the Terry. And that'll be the second out of the inning. And that brings up Eden Slaughter. And Slaughter's batting 167. No homers and no RBIs. And here's the pitch to Enos. And that's going to be a base on balls. Slaughter's down at first now with two outs for Jimmy Wilson. See if Jimmy can get him on a uh, two-out hit here. He's batting 143. He's one for seven. No homers and no RBIs. And that'll be a fly ball out the right. That'll end the inning. But Whitey hits the solo homer and gives the Giants, I mean the Cardinals, a one nothing lead. We go to the bottom of the second. May Zott and Delenn do up here. And Mays is batting 286. He's got a homer and one RBI on the season. And that's going to be a base on ball. So Willie's down at first. Nobody out. And let's see here when an E can steal. So two outs. Then that'll bring up Mel Ott. And Mel's 0 for 7. No homers and no RBIs on the season. And that's going to be a uh, base on balls to Mel. No, it's not because I didn't. That ace is supposed to be a G, so a Z. So we'll change that, cancel, go out, save this. I was wondering what that A stood for. And we'll go to the Cardinals and edit this. Give me one second, guys. I want to make sure these player ratings in here is correct. Yeah, go to the Cardinals. And we'll get rid of that A. Make out of Z. And get back to the game here. So that'll be two balls and no strikes on Mel Ott. So here's the 2-0 count to Ott. Sorry about that little housekeeping. And that'll be a fly ball out the right field. Enos Slaughter's got it for out number one. And Mike Delenn is up. And he is 0 for 1 on this season. No homers and no RBIs. And that's going to be two balls and no strikes on Mike. Can he take advantage of it as Harry keeps falling behind on these batters? And an 8 against a... 21. Eight against a 21 is going to be a fly ball pop up on the infield. And Whitey calls for it. 
just short of the grass, makes the catch for out number two. So it's going to take a two-out hit by Bresnahan to tie this get ball game up for the Giants. And Bresnahan's batting 286. No homers and no RBIs. And that's going to be a 22. That ball's going to be hit hit by pitch unless he's an HB0. And he's not, so he hits him. And that'll put first and second. And the Giants are chirping out there at the mound. But I don't think he hit Roger on purpose. That'll bring up Mr. Jackson. Travis is batting a buck 67. No homers and no RBIs. Here's the pitch to Jackson. And that's going to be against the lefty, a 17 and a 7. That's going to be a single in the left field. And with Mays' speed, he'll score easily. The question is, will Bresnahan, he's got good speed at first, make it down there. And he's going to hold up at second. So that's going to be an RBI single. Roger's going to stop at second with two outs. He doesn't want to get thrown out. And Joe McGinnity's up the bat now, folks, still with runners at first and second. And this game is tied up. And this is McGinnity's first at bat of the year. This is his 1904 season. He batted a buck 76 in 04. No homers and seven RBIs. Here's the pitch to Joe. And that's going to be against the lefty. Uh, 16 on an eight. And that's going to be a. Pop up down the short in the shallow left field. Hornsby goes out, makes the catch, and out of win the inning. But the Giants score one and tie this up. We go to the top of the third, 1-1. One, one. Harry Wrencher is due up, followed by Red and Mize. And Harry's first plate appearance of the season. This is his 1948 season. He batted a buck 46. No homers and two RBIs on the year. And that's going to be a swing and a miss strike three. That'll be the first strikeout for Joe. And back to the top of the order we go. And Red is 0 for 1. He grounded out the third his first time up. And that's going to be a base on balls. So Red's aboard with a one-out walk. And Johnny Myers steps up to the plate now. And the big tat's 0 for 1. He flew out the right field his first time up. And here's the pitch to Mize. And that's going to be a 7 against a 23. And that's going to be a fly ball in the right field. Nice play out there by Mike. And that is now 2 outs. And that'll bring up Roger Hornsby now. Can Roger deliver here with 2 outs? Hornsby's 0 for 1. He flew out the centers first time up. And that's going to be against a 24. That is going to be popped up down the short. Now, that's going to be a swing and a miss. He strikes Roger out for the third out. The Giants come out of that with nobody scoring. Red gets stranded at first. We get to the bottom of the third, the top of the order due up here for the Giants. Fresh, Lindstrom, and Terry. And Frankie's 0 for 1 struck out his first time up. And he squares this one up, folks. And that's going to be a double in the right field. And the Giants have got the lead off batter in scoring position here, folks, as the Giants bat's going to come alive here. And that'll bring up Freddie Lindstrom. And he grounded out the second his first time up. And that's going to be against a lefty. Make him a 19 on an 8. And that's going to be hit down the short. And let's see. Hornsby is going to be a 51. That might make him a fielding column 2 on an 8. And matter of fact, that's fielding column three. And he's going to have to go to first. Frankie's going to make it down the third. So now you got a runner in third and one out. And Terry's up. And with Joe on the mound, the Cardinals are going to bring the infield in. They don't think they're going to score a lot of runs against McGinnity. 
So the infield's in for Bill Terry. He grounded out the shortest first time up. And that's going to be hit down to second. And Red's a damn good fielding second baseman, but a 52. Let's see what that is on a nine. That's still going to be fielding column one. And that's going to be a single in the F runner scores. Frankie's not an F runner. So that's a single down the first, down the second. Red's able to keep it in the infield. Frankie Frisch is an F, so he will score. So Frankie scores anyway on the infield hit down the second. Not able to get the um, runner out at home, and that'll make this a two to one ball game. And Mays is up now with Terry down at first. So, runner down at first and one out for Willie Mays. He walked his first time up. And uh oh, here we go. These Giants are starting to swing the bats, folks. Willie Mays squares this one up, and that ball is high. How far is this one going to go against the lefty? Be an 18. And he has the G. So that ball is high. That ball is far. That ball is out of here down the left field line. Home run, Willie Mays. And just like that, folks, it's four to one. And the Giants bats finally in game number three are coming alive. And that'll bring up Mel Ott. He's 0 for 1. He flew out the right his first time up. Nobody on and one out. Giants up by three. And that's going to be a ground. That's going to be a swing and a miss. So here he comes back and strikes out Mel Ott for out number two after the home run. The lane's up now. Mike's 0 for 1. He popped up the third. And he squares this one up. Giants ain't done yet, folks. And that ball is high. That ball, how far is this one going to go? Against the left, he'll make him a 21. And that's a home run down the right field line. And everybody knows these polo grounds down the line is not that far. And just like that, it is 5-1 New York. Bresnahan's due up now. Harry might be lo not long for this game. Roger Bresnahan got hit by a pitch his first time up. And this ball is driven into the gap. Let's see how far this one travels. And that ball is high. That ball is far. That ball is gone, folks. Roger Bresnahan back to back home runs. And that's going to be it for Harry. They're going to the bullpen early today. Allie Pallet probably is going to come into the game here. Let's see who's due up. They're going to bring a lefty in, or do they want to switch over to a righty and bring Cooper in? I think they're going to bring Cooper the righty in. Wait a second. Let's get to the bullpen. That's the starters. So let's see here. Let's get to the bullpen. I was wondering why everybody out there. So let's see here. And it looks like they're going to bring in Larry Jackson. He's going to come in a righty. And that's it for Harry. He doesn't even get out of the third inning. So Jackson will come in. And the Giants start to explode here in New York. This is going to be one tough team, folks. This might be the first blowout we have. So that's it for Harry. And I should have kept Jackson's card out to see what year it is. It's 1960 year. Larry Jackson, there he is. This is Jackson's first appearance of the year, his 1960s. Stats, he pitched in 43 games, started 38, was 18 and 13 with a 3.48 ERA. The first batter he'll be facing is 
Travis Jackson. He's one for one with an RBI single. Two outs, nobody on. So it's the Jackson and Jackson show. And it looks like Larry's going to win this one. As that's a fly ball out to center field. Joe's out there. Makes the catch. But the Giants score five and take a six to one lead, folks. As we go to the fourth inning. Yeah, it did, Tim. Like I say, all these games here and the bats have been competitive. This game, it don't look like it's going to be. Here's Stan, the man, up now. He's 0 for 1. Flew out the right. He'll be followed by Whitey and then Medrick. See if Stan can get a rally going here for the Cardinals. And he does square this one up, folks. And that ball is against a righty. It's going to make him a 23. And that's going to be a triple in the right field. So just like that. Mr. Musial gets a triple, and the Cardinals got a runner in scoring position here with nobody out. And the Giants with a five-run lead is going to play the infield back. Whitey's got the only RBI this game. He hit a solo homer his first time up. Here's the pitch to him. And that's going to be a ground ball down the short. And that'll get the runner in. He'll fire over to first. So it makes it a six to two ball game. Now there's one out and nobody on for Joe Medrick. Hey, Aaron, how's it going, bud? So Joe Medrick's up. He grounded out to the mound his first time up. Here's the pitch for Joe. And that's going to be another ground ball back to the mound. Joe throws over to Terry and gets Joe for out number two. And that brings up Enos Slaughter now. And Slaughter has walked his first time up. Here's the pitch to Enos. And that's going to be a ground ball down the third. And Frank's got it. Fires over to Terry. Now to win the inning. But the Cardinals score one and make it a four-run game. We go to the bottom of the fourth. McGinnity and then back to the top of the order. And Frisch and Lindstrom do up here. Joe popped up the shortest first time up. And that's going to be a ground ball out in front of the plate. And Wilson is a damn good fielding catcher. An eight on a 31 is going to be fielding column one. And that's a pop up. If he's slow, he's not slow. So that's going to be a dribbler in front of the plate. And Wilson fires down the first for out number one. Back to the top of the order we go in Frankie Frisch. And Frisch is one for two. He doubled and came around the score. Struck out his other time up. And that's going to be a ground ball down the Hornsby for out number two. Quick two outs here in the fourth. And it's up to Mr. Freddie Lindstrom. And Freddie's over two, grounded out the second and the short. And that's going to be a swing and a miss. He strikes him out. Giants go down one, two, three. We go to the fifth. We got Wilson. Jackson will probably stay in the game. They don't want to burn the bullpen up too much. And back to the top of the order in red. And Wilson's 0 for 1, flew out the right. And that's going to be a fly ball in the center field. Willie's got it. For out number one. And this will be Jackson's first plate appearance of the year. And Larry is 1960 season. He batted 211. No homers and three RBIs on the year. And that's going to be against a righty. I'll make him a 17 on a nine. And we don't need no stinking DH. Larry dribbles that one down the third, beats it out. And Jackson's down at first with a one-out single. Says he can do it all. Pitch hit. And up steps Red. Red's over one, grounded out, and walked his last time up. And against a 28, that's going to be a 8 and that's going to be a comebacker to the mound. And 
He's a damn good fielding first. No, he's not. A 12, though, should still. That'll be fielding column one. He's going to get the lead runner out at second. And the Cardinals really ain't too upset about that. That lets Larry go set down. And that puts Red down there at first. And Johnny will take his time now with two outs walking up to the plate. Give Larry a chance to get back on the bench and relax. And Johnny's over two. He's flown out the right both times. Here's the pitch to Mize. And that's going to be two balls and no strikes on Mize. Can he take advantage of this batter's count? And that's going to be against a righty, a 24 and a 7. And that's going to be a ground ball down the short. And Jackson's going to go the long way over to first. And that'll end the inning. The Cardinals strand one. We go to the fifth. Bottom of the fifth, 6-2 Giants. You got Terry Mays and Ott do up here against Jackson. Terry's one for two with an RBI single. Grounded out the short his other time up. And that's going to be a comebacker to Jackson. He fires over to first. Out number one. That brings up the say, hey, kid, Willie Mays. And Willie homered his last time up and walked his other time, a two-run homer. Here's the pitch to Willie, and that's going to be a ground ball down the red at second. Two ground balls, two outs, and up steps Mel Ott now, and Mel is 0 for 2. He's yet to get a base hit this year, folks. He's 0 for 9. He's flew out and struck out, and that's going to be against a righty. It's going to make him a 9. Nine on an eight. And that's going to be his first base hit. Talk shit about him, he says. That's going to be a base hit in the left field. Mel Ott's aboard here, folks, with two outs. That's his first hit. So Lens up. Mike's up now. And Mike's one for two with a home run his last time up. He went back to back. Here's the pitch to him. Mike, and that's going to be a ground ball down the third, and Whitey's up with it, fires over to first, and that'll be out number three, the Giants strand one, we go to the top of the sixth, Giants up by four, you got Hornsby, Musio, and Whitey do up, Rogers 0 for two today, flown out and struck out. And that's going to be a ground ball down to Jackson for out number one. And Stan the Man Musial's up now. Let's see if Stan can get a one out base hit going. He's tripled his last time up and came in to score, and he flew out the right his other time. And that's going to be a base on ball. So Stan walks down the first. The Cardinals needs base runners. And up steps Whitey now. And Whitey's one for two with a two-run homer. Here's the pitch to Whitey. And that's going to be a fly ball out the left field. Oh, it's got just enough room to make the catch near the wall. We're out number two. It's up to Joe Medrick to keep this inning alive. Medrick is 0 for two. Grounded out both times to the pitcher. And that's going to be a fly ball out the deep center field, but it's very deep, and Mays has got room. And that'll do it. The Cardinals leave another one on. Go to the bottom of the sixth. And the bottom part of the order due up here for the Giants, Bresnahan, Jackson, and McGinnity. And Bresnahan's one for one with a homer and been hit by a pitch. He made him pay for that hit by pitch. And that's going to be a base on balls. They don't want nothing to do with Roger now. Rogers down at first with nobody out for Jackson. And Travis is up here. He's one for two with an RBI single and flew out the center his last time up. And that's going to be a wild well, pitch three. No. So that's going to be an unusual result, a rare play. And an 11 on a bases with a runner at first. So runner at first, and it was a 35. It's 
do this again here. 35. So, yeah, it was a 35. I've read that wrong. 35. So, 35 is the catcher, a one that's going to be filled in common one. That's a foul out. Jackson pops it up behind home plate. Wilson makes the catch for out number two, one rather. And that'll bring up Joe McGinnity. And Joe, he's 0 for 2, popped up the short and grounded out to the catcher. And that's going to be a fly ball out to slaughter and right for out number two. And Frankie Frisch is up now. And Frisch is one for three with that double. Here's the pitch to Frankie. And that's going to be a ground ball down the second. He'll go to short way over the short. And that'll end the inning. And the Giants strand one. We go to the seventh inning. It's still 6-2 New York. We got Slaughter, Wilson, and a, probably a pitch hitter for Jackson due up here in the seventh. Enos is 0 for 1. He grounded out and walked. And that's going to be another base on balls. That's McGinnity's fourth walk of the game. Slaughter trots on down the first. That's Jamie Wilson up now. And Wilson's 0 for 2. He's flown out the right field and center field. Here's the pitch to Wilson. The Giants are looking to turn two. That ball's hit down the second. And they'll get the lead runner. And Jamie's not a slow base runner, so that's all they'll get. So that's a 4-6 put out. Wilson's down at first now. We'll have a pitch hitter here for Jackson. And let's see. He's going to come off the bench here for the Cardinals. And I think it's going to be Mr. Bottomley. It's going to come off the bench. See if he can get something going here with one out and a runner on it first. And the Cardinals trailing by four. And Bonham leaves batting 500. He's one for two on the season. Hey, Ken. How's it going? Yeah, the they finally started to hit there in the third inning, Ken. First game that's not been real close. And this brings up Bonhamley, one for two with an RBI on the year. And that's going to be a fly ball out the right field. That'll be out number two. And Red's up now. Back to the top of the order. See if he can get a out here. Fly ball out the right. And Red is 0 for 2. He's grounded out, reached on a fielder's choice, and walked. And that's going to be a ground ball down the third. And he'll go the long way across the diamond the first. And that'll end the inning in the Cardinal strand one. Let's see who the Cardinals are going to bring in here. Pitch. See who hasn't pitched yet for the Cardinals. It might be Al McDaniel. Lindy might be coming in. I think everybody else is pitched. Let's see here. It's Haynes and Halloway pitched. Yes, they have. Yep, Lindy's coming in. He hasn't pitched yet this season. He's going to try to keep us a four-run game. And what year is this for McDaniel? This is his 1960 year. So Lindy comes in. He in 1961 pitched in 65 games, started to was 12 and 4 with a 2.09 ERA. They'll be facing Lindstrom. Terry in Mays up here in the seventh inning. And Freddie's 0 for 3, grounded out twice and struck out. And that's going to be a swing and a miss. No, that's going to be a ground ball down the short. 
over to first for round number one. And up steps Bill Terry. And Terry is one for three with an RBI single. He's grounded out the short end back to the mound. And that's going to be a fly ball out to Joe Medrick in center for out number two. And we got the say, hey, kid, he's one for two with a two-run homer. And he walked and grounded out the second his other two times up. And he squares this one up. Willie Mays is starting to heat up, folks. Uh, what you want to see if you don't like the Giants. And that's going to be a fly ball out the left center. And that's out there rolling around in the corner. And the say, hey, kid's making a turn for third. And he's going to be in there with a two-out triple. And it brings up Mel Ott, who finally got his first base hit his last time up. He's one for ten on the season. He's flown out and struck out. So is Mel Ott going to come out with a two-out base hit and make this a seven-to-two ball game, folks? And against the uh, righty, it's going to make him a uh, 28. And that's going to be a... Uh, Swing and a miss. He strikes Mel Ott out. That'll end the inning. We go to the eighth. It's still six to two. We got Mize. Horns be unusual due up here in the eighth. Cardinals need to get some runs here. They can't be dependent on a four-run rally in the ninth. And Johnny's 0 for 3. Flown out the right twice and grounded out the short. And that's going to be a, a 9 against a 20. Four. At least the question is, what kind of out is that? It's going to be a fly ball out the right field. That'll be out number one. And Hornsby's up now. And Roger is 0 for 3 today. Hey, Clinton Parks. Yeah, we are, aren't we? Yep, with the solar eclipse. We had Roger fly out the center, strike out, and ground it out the short. And that's going to be hit down the short. And Jackson's going to mess that one all up. That's going to be an E6. And Hornsby's finally aboard here with one out. And Stan the man's up now. He's just having a decent game. He's one for two with a walk and a triple. And let's see if Stan can do something with Hornsby down at first. That's going to be hit out to... That's going to be a hit by pitch. So they hit Mr. Stan the Man usual, and the Cardinals are starting to chirp. Stan walks down the first. Now to bring up Whitey. First and second now. And the Cardinals get a big base hit here and get back in this game. Like I said, they need to score some runs here in the eighth. And Whitey's one for three with a homer. He had an RBI ground ball, and he's flown out the left here's the pitch to him and that's going to be a two balls and no strike count on him here's the 2-0 pitch to whitey and that's not what they was looking for that ball's hit down the second frish is up with it fires over the jackson over to terry and that'll end the inning folks four six three double play the Cardinals strand one. We go to the bottom of the eighth. And we got the Lynn. And followed by Bresnahan and Jackson. Mike is one for three with a homer. He's grounded out and popped up. And that's going to be a fly ball out the deep center field. Plenty of room in the polo grounds for out number one. Here comes Bresnahan. He's having a perfect game today, folks. He's one for one with a homer. He's been walked and hit by a pitch. And they're finally going to get him out. That's going to be a swing and a miss. And that's two down here in the eighth. And Jackson's up now. And Travis is one for three. He had an RBI single, flew out the center, and popped up to the catcher. And that's going to end the inning. That's a ground ball down the red. He tosses it over to Mize. And the Giants go down one, two, three. We go to the top of the ninth. And Beatles is in the house. 
and I'm rooting for the Cardinals too, Beatles, but they need to score four here in the top of the ninth. Let's see if they can do it. They got Mad, um, Joe Medrick up, Slaughter and Wilson, and then a pitch hitter if they get the Lindy. Let's see if they can come back here against Joe McGinnity. Here's the pitch to Joe, the Joe and Joe show, and McGinnity is going to probably win this battle. A nine against a 23, and that's going to be a ground ball right back to him. Joe fires over to first to throw Joe out. So one down here in the ninth. Here comes Enos Slaughter. He's had a nice game against McGinnity. He's 0 for 1, but he's walked twice, grounded out the third his other time up. And that's going to be another base on ball. So Slaughter gets a board here with one out. Hey, PJ. That brings up Jamie Wilson now. Can Jamie do something with Slaughter down at first and one out? Wilson's 0 for 3. He's flown out the right center and reached on the fielder's choice. And that's going to be a fly ball out the maze and center. And uh, Cardinals are down to their last out. Let's see who's going to come off the bench here and pitch hit. And the crab, old Jesse Burkett's going to come off the bench. Try to keep this game alive here for the Cardinals. Trailing by four. And... Got Slaughter down at first. Goodness, <laughs> no. And this Burkett's one for two this year. Can he get a key base hit here? Keep this game alive. Here's a pitch from Joe McGinnity. And that's going to be against a righty of 24. And... That's going to be a single in the center field. Slaughter's going to make it down the third. So this ball game's still alive. A pitch hit single by Burkett. And we got runners at first and third. Where did I say? I was out the center field. And we're back to the top of the order in red. Cardinals still got a little bit of life left in them. They're going to let McGinnity pitch here. He's got a four-run lead, first and third. What the heck happened there? Go back here. Undo. Should be first and third with two outs. There's a single in the center field and a runner on first. So... Oh, exactly, Ken. It will be awesome, won't it? Yep. So, Red steps up. He's 0 for 3 today. He's walked, grounded out the third twice, and had a fielder's choice. And here's the pitch. Can Red keep the game alive? And against a 28, I doubt it. That's going to be a fly ball out the right field the deepest part of the park practically mike goes back camps underneath of it red hit it well but not well enough and that's your ball game folks the giants win six to two cardinals tried to make a comeback in the ninth like i said they needed to score some runs there in the eighth a double play killed them in the eighth Yeah, that was a crazy box score, Ken, especially for this league. Let's take a look here at the box score for this game. And the Cardinals scored two runs on four hits and no errors. The Giants, six runs, eight hits, and one error. Really not much to talk about for the Giant um, Cardinals offense. You had all Whitey with that home run. That was about it. Cardinals were 0 for 3 with runners in scoring position. Left eight men on base. And you had Willie Mace showing up 
two for three with a homer. You had Bresnahan and Delane with home runs. The Giants were two for four with runners in scoring position. And left five men on base. Harry drops to 0-1, only goes two and two-thirds. Gave up six hits, six runs, walked one and struck out two. Gave up three home runs. The bullpen came in and did a great job. Jackson goes a three and a thirds, one hit, one walk, struck out one. Lindy McDaniel comes in, pitches two innings, gives up a hit and two strikeouts. But the Giants was able to hold the Cardinals down under Joe McGinnity with his first win. Goes the distance, four hits, two runs, walked five, struck out two, and gave up that long home run, and that was it. All righty, folks. So the next ball game here in the bats is going to be the Yankees and the A's to finish out their series. I think they got two more games left in the series. Let's take a look here. They play on the uh, play on the nineteenth and on the twentieth. Yeah. They play a two-game series. Well, two more games. They already played one game. The Yankees won the first game 3-1 to one on the two-run homer by DiMaggio. And don't go by the um, pitchers there. It's not going to be Ford against Bush. I'm not exactly sure who the pitchers will be. So, until next time, I want to thank Ken Castro, Tim D. Check out Beatles Eternally's channel. Clinton Parks. P. Jet was in the house. And Aaron Reed, check out his channel. Philip Reynolds, he was in here. Check out his channel doing a 61 replay with History Maker Baseball. And I believe that was everybody, folks. <laughs> Thank you, Ken. That means a lot, buddy. That means a lot. Like I say, this is a blast. That's the first game that wasn't real competitive, to be honest. Yeah, first game, a 6-2 to two ball game. Still wasn't bad. Cardinals tried to come back and make it interesting. Yep, still wasn't that bad of a ball game. Wasn't like they was completely out of it. Like I say, they had their chances in the 8th and ninth inning and couldn't take advantage of it. Alrighty, folks, you all have a great afternoon. I'll check you out next time. Until then, take care.